the needs analysis process looked, you know, relatively standard. Um, we take a a broad view of the organization. We don't focus in on just a particular portion of the organization. Um, it's very easy to get caught up in just looking at, oh, this is our problem area. So we take a look at a high level across the entire organization. We look at each division, each area, even if it doesn't really touch the ERP, to make sure that those factor in because processes change, the organization evolves, and they may need functionality in areas that they've never used it before. So we, we take a very broad approach. Um, and then we also dig down into individual areas. So we talk to different branches, we talk to subject matter experts in each of the areas and really understand what's going on with them, what they need, how they're going to be affected by things. So there's a lot that goes into it. Um, I, could, I could talk quite a bit about that. But... In our internal needs analysis, we decided that we wanted something that would really uh, be easily deployable over our different branches in different states. Uh, so we are across the country and needed something that has that versatility and our sales reps are outside sales reps so they're mobile, they need something they could access remotely. Uh, those were two of the key things along with uh, flexibility and essentially future proofing. We wanted a, something, a platform that we knew uh, could evolve with our, with our needs as we grow. I mean, we are very growth minded and so that ability to grow was a huge part of our decision. The pain points that we were trying to identify in the process really had to do again with the flexibility with having locations in various states, having outside sales reps with our light manufacturing. Uh, also our business, we do have three subsidiaries, three divisions that operate fairly differently. Uh, one has more of a quality need, another has more manufacturing, and another is primarily distribution. So we needed a platform that could address all three of those better than what we currently have. When we started the process, trying to get information from, from the employees on uh, what works, what doesn't, and what they would prefer to have, uh, what features, functions they would like. Uh, we did, a, I think, a, I believe a good job internally, but working with EAG, um, that was part of the uh, needs analysis, of course, that they did. And they also got a lot more information uh, to help us add to the mix of exactly what we're trying to build. As a company, managing risk is, a, is something that we're very much on top of because we know an ERP is the tool that runs the entire business. And the big thing was making sure that we didn't shut down the business. We have our relationship partners that have done ERP switches that have shut down for days on end. So that was risk number one, was that go live launch date, making sure that everything functioned. Mm -hmm. And e, um, EAG was very good about monitoring that and, and holding our hand throughout that, that process, knowing that that was a key concern of ours. Other risk would be, of course, that it might not stop production, but it might slow down production. That we didn't, that basically, we didn't think about something we should have as far as the op operational flow, the process flow. Mm -hmm. And so we really valued the interviews with the uh, subject matter experts we had in every, di every division to make sure that we really thought of everything we possibly could, knowing that you'll never think of everything. So. Were there, were there challenges on launch and after launch? Absolutely. Things that we said, we wish we had thought of that. Absolutely. But was an implementation this large company of our size, I, I don't know how you could possibly have a perfect launch. You, you can't expect that. <laughs>